I'm Steve for This Week with Cars, and today I'm going to go over what is special about the Land Rover Discovery XD. I have the original brochure right here, and on the back of it, it lists the special features that came with the Discovery XD. First on the list is the AA code yellow exterior and black hood and black exterior trim. For the rest of the options, we'll take a look around the Land Rover, and I'll show you those specific features. And if my Land Rover Discovery no longer retains those features, let's fix this one and make it right. The next thing on the list is black caster alloy wheels. You can see I do not have black wheels. In fact, these are Range Rover wheels. But if you remember from my first video, I did get the correct wheels with this vehicle. So to put these on the Discovery, I'll need a new set of tires fitted. Let's do that now. The tires that I'm going to be fitting are Cooper Discoveries and the size of LT23585 R16. These are the exact same tires that I fitted to my other Series 1 Discovery. They are also a little bit narrower than the tires that are on it right now, which might help with some of the fender rubbing. These wheels sat outside for a long time, so I'm going to replace all the valve stems. Now I can pull the new stem in. I'm going to take the valve core out. That way it will flow a lot more air to inflate the tire once I have it on. Because this tire doesn't bulge out until there's air in it, it may be difficult to get this started at first. And then these tires are going to pop a lot when the bead locks. So we'll hear a couple loud pops when the bead sets on the bottom and when it sets on the top. Looks like it started right away. Put my glasses on. There's the bottom one. I'll get the rest of the tires on, get them balanced, and then we can go back over to the Discovery. Let's see if these old wheels will come off. These lug nuts are pretty rusty from this thing sitting outside for so long.
I think that looks a lot better and the tire looks more proper as well. Here's the old wheel and tire and here is one of the new tires. The height is about exactly the same. This one of course has the treads worn down a little bit, but height should be very similar between the two. Then you see the difference in how narrow these new ones are compared to the old ones. These are pretty wide tires for a Discovery. I think that the truck will handle much better with these tires on it. I think those original wheels are a huge improvement. The next thing on the list is the Safari roof rack. And as far as I can tell, the lights did not come on these. Everyone added their own lights to the top. But this is a special roof rack only on the Land Rover XD. The Eco Challenge and the Trek Editions had a different style roof rack. This mesh was added to this one. It would have only been open bars with no mesh below it. Next item is the wraparound brush guard and the Land Rover driving lights. These are the correct lights for a Land Rover XD. You see the Land Rover logo in them. And these brush guards would have said Discovery above the driving lights. So that has come off as the powder coating has fallen off of the brush guard. I am planning on removing the brush guard at some point and getting that all cleaned up and then I'll add the Discovery logo back right there. On the front of these Discoveries, we have these little bars and they wrap around front brush guard and that leads us to our next item. On the rear of these vehicles come rear light guards which protect the rear lights from being damaged. And on the back door you can see the Land Rover special vehicle sticker. There's also one of those stickers here on the back window. You can barely see it anymore, but it says special vehicles right there. And that was on the rear glass. The next item they refer to as the engine protection plate. And it consists of these three plates. You have one on each side, and then this plate here that protects the bottom of the engine. It's pretty thick steel. It bolts into the same areas that the brush guard bolts in and it's added protection for the engine that the standard Discovery does not have. There's also extra armoring for both of the differentials. Here you can see the front one, and in the back, the rear diff is also protected. All Discovery XDs also came with the rear ladder. This was optional on standard Discoveries. The XD also came with what was called the Custom XD Spare Tire Cover, and I'm missing mine, but I did order one. So let's see if it fits. The tire that's on the spare is the same size as the tires that I just put on the truck. This is, of course, the correct wheel. This is a BF Goodridge Mud Train. One of the options that you could get with these trucks is to get the Event off-road tires, and I'm not sure if that's what this is. This is in the size LT23585R16. And let's see if the cover will go over it. I think that looks pretty good. It completely changes the look of the back of the Discovery. All of the Discovery XDs came with this beige cloth interior, and they all came with these special seat covers. These striped seat covers also came on the Trek Edition and the Eco Challenge Discoveries. I've already fitted the seat covers to the passenger seat as well as the back seat. These covers offer a lot of protection, so you don't have to worry about getting your seats dirty after you've just rescued your Jeep friend from the mud. I got these covers from Knight's Bridge Overland. They have a lot of really strong Velcro and straps that hold these together. They fit extremely well. I'll have to work out some wrinkles still, but this has completely transformed the inside of this Discovery. And while we're here on the interior, also on the XDs, they came standard with the Land Rover rubber mats in the front, as well as in the rear. And the last standard option is the XD nomenclature and graphics. You see the XD logo on the side of the vehicle. There also used to be one here on the bonnet. And if you wanted even more stickers on your car, 
you could get the optional event decal package, which made your XD look like one of the 1996 Trek Edition discoveries, which would basically cover the entire side of your vehicle in stickers. If you're looking at one of these Land Rover XDs, all of the things that I've shown you so far can easily be replicated, but there is one thing that really sets these vehicles apart, and that is this tag right here from the Land Rover Special Vehicles. And on a 1997 Discovery, you will only find this badge on a XD Series Discovery. I really love how this very special Discovery is coming along. I now have all of the special XD parts fitted back to this vehicle. And I'm excited to next start tackling the electrical system and see if I can get some of this other special equipment fitted to this vehicle working again. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.